Colony Signets to buff Colony Class. I don't know, just take Retreat. Okay. So, who is new to Wing 5 raiding or anything in this wing? That is 4. Is there someone else? Did some parts once. Okay. So we have 4 new people and a half. With the alligator gator. Only kill the sage. Okay, so wait, is it six people then? This fight is very fucking messy. So get ready for that. Get ready to panic all over the place. But very important things you have to pay attention to. Walls that show on the minimap as skulls, just like the boss does right now, if you look over there. The walls that one shot you are gonna appear on the minimap before the before you actually see them in the encounter. Uh, which is something someone mentioned in Squatch that earlier. So you can actually look on the minimap to see which wall is spawning. There's different walls, there's gonna be spaces in between them, so we might have to move somewhere, we might not have to move somewhere depending on which wall is spawning. Uh, otherwise, obviously, if we stand on it, we get instantly one-shotted, we instantly die, uh, no down state. So, walls, don't go into them, don't get knocked into them, don't get feared into them, don't dodge into them. Uh, uh, stop talking so I can explain mechanics. Everything that you're mentioning right now is irrelevant. Doesn't matter. Boss is important. So, you want to stay behind the boss. So, we have two tanks. Why two tanks? Is because when you're tanking the boss by pressing special action key, you get stacks the longer you are tanking the boss for. The more stacks you have, the more you're gonna die. So, you want to spread the job between two people. So, our Firebrand and our Chrono are gonna tank the boss. Once they get to like three stacks, they can change uh, the other guy, press a special action key, and he gets the aggro. So they spread a job between themselves. They need a lot of heals. Uh, they gotta make sure that they, uh, once they get three stacks, the other guy um, gets a special action key. So they spread a job. No one dies. Nice. We have double healer, so there shouldn't be a problem anyway. So that's the tank mechanic. When you are not pressing special action key, when you are not the aggro of the boss with special action key, you are the aggro of the tormented dead that are spawning and splattering themselves against the wall right now. Uh, what are those? 20 seconds after the boss gets to 90% health, the tormented dead will spawn for the first time, and then it will keep respawning every 20 seconds after that. So. 20 seconds after the boss gets 90% speed, this thing is gonna spawn in the middle and it will aggro on the person that has special action key, but is not currently tanking the boss. That's irrelevant because the person will be on top of the group anyway, but that thing will slowly die by itself, and if it dies by itself, on top of the group it gets cleaved down by damage, it will spawn a giant red circle that corrupts all of our boons, right? So. We want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Doesn't explode on top of the group, our boons are not corrupted. So what we are going to do is we're going to have someone pushing it out of the group. And also it will make it so that it dies out of the group. So we can actually use giant brain strats and use epidemic. So all the condies that we have go on the tormented dead. And then the druid can knock it back with a glyph of tides, longbow four. Or you can have a warrior take a wild blow. You can do a lot of crazy stuff, right? So that it dies from Appy when it's outside of the group. So that we don't have to, you know, the rest of the people don't have to deal with that. Do not use dazes, do not use any extra pulls, don't use any kind of like interrupt memes, because it will be interrupted in the middle of the knockbacks if you do that, and then the druid is gonna cry. It's gonna have a mental breakdown live on stream. You don't want that. So that's the tormented dead, that's the walls that one shot you, stay behind the boss because it does big damage. Also AoEs, so there's gonna be little sites around the arena that are red, those also corrupt your boons. Uh, that's not good, don't stand in them, they're gonna appear randomly, they're very very tiny, kind of difficult to see sometimes. Don't stand in them, dodge over them, don't walk over them, and you'll be fine. Big AoEs, there's gonna be some smaller AoEs that the boss does, but there's also gonna be some big circles that are generated from the boss's position. Um, it's gonna be one circle, I'll explain this over here a little bit. So there's gonna be one AoE, uh, I can make this circle with my healing spring. So that's gonna be the first AoE, and then after that AoE, there's gonna be generated a circle all the way around this current circle, right? So there's gonna be a circle and then a ring around the circle. 
So the circle is going to explode first, then the ring is going to happen afterwards. You don't want to get hit by either of them. So what you can do is you can either um, dodge from side to side, so you can stand into this one, or you can wait on the ring. Once the circle one happens, you dodge back in, right? So the ring doesn't hit you. You just got to play around with giant head a little bit. The more you get used to the mechanic, the easier it will be. But that's one of the attacks that does a lot of damage. You can block it, you can aegis it, you can dodge it, you can evade it with, I don't know, Blood Friends, Young Chrono, all of those things. Everything works. You can also distort it. That's why aegis is really, really good, so that people don't panic and dodge into a wall by accident. Uh, what else? Boss break bar. 66%, the boss is gonna do a lot of lines. It's gonna do some lines all over the place. If you stand in those lines, you take damage. You'll see what I'm talking about later on. Um, that's gonna be the tell that the boss is going to break bar. So 66% lines all over the place after line attack is gone, break bar. CC the break bar, otherwise the boss is gonna fear us all outside of the platform and we're all gonna die. There's nothing we can do about it, no Condi cleanse, it's basically just an animation. Uh, there's nothing you can do once you fill the break bar to recover the encounter, it's just instant that. Um, the boss also has some smaller lines uh, that don't cover every direction. Uh, she does them twice. These ones, you can either stand between them to not take damage, or you can also stand inside of the boss's hitbox, and they will not do any damage to you. Uh, because these ones are not generated from the center of the hitbox, they appear around there instead. Um, f flesh uh, Elite Flesh Worms that you can see on the arena right now all over the place, those ones shoot projectiles. Uh, in normal mode, they spawn once, and once you kill them, they are gone. In challenge mode, they keep spawning over and over and over again, but that's irrelevant. So Epidemic is gonna kill them as we just do the fight normally. Uh, the Epidemic person can actually use Epidemic uh, twice uh, before the Tormented Dead spawns. So you can actually kill all of the Flesh Worms uh, before your Epidemic is actually needed for the knockback uh, that I'm gonna do on the ad that corrupts all of our boons. Uh, so you can clear the ads for us. So you can do Epidemic like basically at the beginning, then a little bit later on, and then later on after that. Um, the platform shrinks. So the longer we are in the fight, the longer the platform shrinks, up until a certain amount. In challenge mode, it shrinks even faster, but that's, again, kind of irrelevant. So, what did I forget about? Don't stand in front of the boss, don't stand in the AoEs, don't get one shot by the walls, break- oh, yeah, break bar. Um, the break bar doesn't happen every single time the boss does a lines all over the place. At 66%, she's gonna do lines all over the place for the first time, that's the break bar. Next time she does it, that's not gonna be a break bar. The one after that is gonna be a break bar again. So it alternates. First time, lines are all over the platform. That's CC. Second time, not CC. So it's one, three, five, and so on, right? Um, and I believe that's pretty much it. Tanks, um, you know, be nice to each other. Take the aggro once in a while. Also, you wanna move the boss as less as possible so that we don't lose much damage and it's also less confusing for people. So... I will, I will do a little bit of like a movement um, thing. So you want to try and tank the boss not exactly in the center. Uh, otherwise, we, with our cleave, are going to instantly kill uh, the Tormented Dead. If the Tormented Dead dies, it corrupts all of our boons with a giant red circle, right? We can actually run away. It doesn't instantly appear like the red circle that corrupts our boons. But we want to make sure that it doesn't instantly die. So you kind of want to tank the boss on the arrow marker that I'm placing right now. Like on, on this kind of like area. Um, so that we are not in the middle, and we are not on the edge. So we are not gonna instantly kill the ad, and if a wall appears, uh, we are not gonna be instantly dying from it, because we can actually see it, and we have time to move away from it. Uh, also for the pushing, um, you can Epidemic as soon as the Tormented Dead reaches next to the group. So, the Tormented Dead, let's roleplay as the Tormented Dead being the heart marker. So, it spawns in the center. Uh, let's say that we are standing on arrow. It kind of goes like this. Then you can Appy, because I'm going to be walking behind it. I'm going to use Glyph of Tides, and then I'm going to knock it outside of the platform with Longbow 4. Ideally, if you are pushing this on a Druid, on a Warrior, whatever, you always want to push the Tormented Dead on the closest uh, edge you are standing to. Uh, the cl wait, edge? Does that work? It's a, it's a circular platform. I don't know. But yeah, on the closer um, side of the arena that you're standing on. So if you are standing on arrow, you want to push it, uh, you know, like the circle is doing the drawing thing. Like, on the outer side of this one. If you're standing on that arrow marker, you want to push it like this, right? 
Because if you do knock it and it dies outside of the platform, it actually doesn't cover the platform area, right? So it only covers like maybe some of it, maybe none of it, maybe, you know, it, we have more space by doing this. Uh, if it's a situation where you're gonna die, just push it wherever. It's fine, you're just gonna have to deal with it. And it will eventually also despawn, so it's not the end of the world. And... That's pretty much it, I guess. I'm gonna place a bunch of markers randomly on the platform, just for movement's sake. Okay, uh, healing firebrand, you do big heals. Um, you also have retreats. Uh, all of the things that I explained are gonna look like very messy, big AoEs, but I'm gonna call them out a couple of times and it should be okay. The most important thing is that you guys are always standing behind the boss and you pay attention to the one-shot walls. That's the most important thing. As for the as for the um, uh, for the scourge, I can tell you when to press epidemic. Uh, but yeah, ideally, don't press it. Um, don't press it instantly, because uh, it might be a situation where I can't actually pull the uh, push the ad properly. Like if there is a wall between me and the ad, I, I can't like dodge through the wall because it's gonna kill me, right? I gotta like walk behind it or knock it in like an inconvenient spot. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call Happy for you, but everyone else, uh, stay behind the boss, and we'll be okay. You can also use Happy now at the beginning instantly to kill the adds. That were, that's the that's the AOE I was talking about earlier. That's one circle, and then it turns into a ring. Now, first wall, we have to move to the edge a little bit. We can follow the tank. Same commander tag. That wall one shots you, no down state, so you have to avoid it. That's another wall. Okay, platform shrinking. These are the first lines. You can actually stand inside of the hitbox for these ones. Now, the first tormented dad is gonna spawn very, very soon. Okay, you can epidemic now. There you go, good job. The ad is dead. It's gonna die outside of the platform, so it doesn't cover that much of the arena. That red circle that you kind of see, that would corrupt our boons, and it would not be good. And we would all die, and yeah, it would be sad. Uh, don't instantly happy this time, because I swapped the stuff, because I'm little people. Okay, you can happy now. That wall, we have to move, run away, run away, run away. D don't, uh, if you see like the orange circle on the edge of the arena, that means that the platform is about to shrink. Uh, so you don't want to go there. Yeah, we need big CC now, do big CC, otherwise we inside die, get the rest. You can happy now. Get the rest, get the rest, get the rest. Okay, move out of that, move out of that, move out of that, your boons are corrupted, that's okay, get the rest. Try to get the rest, get the rest, get the rest, get the rest. Okay, move away from here. If you're a tank, move away from the red circle. We don't have any space to do anything. Okay, get the rest again. It's okay if a tank is dead, it doesn't matter. We, we still have to play the fight. Oh, you can happy now. Wait, how did I miss? Oh, I just cancel it, never mind. Right, move away from there, move away from there. Big red circle, move away, move away, move away, move away. Right, this is CC, do the break part, do the break part. See, 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 good job. We got the rest? Probably not. Maybe yes. Actually, we could have gotten the rest, yes. I'm gonna go for it. Never mind. Unlucky. Right, that's pretty much the whole fight. Um, that's tormented that dying. Our boons are gone. We can go again. Uh, okay. Panic. Uh, are you lagging? What's happening? You were, you were standing still, dying like three times in a row. When I rally and I get downed immediately, what can I do? Don't die in the first place. How many stacks were you on? Should I take earlier? Uh, you, nearly, you nearly fell off the platform, you were standing on the edge of the arena. Uh, if you didn't went if you didn't go down state, you would have actually fell off the platform there because the platform disappeared it shrinked when you guys see the red circle around the arena it means that the arena is about to shrink 
So you don't want to stand there, otherwise you instantly fall and die. Um, Should happen at 66 and 33%. Say behind the boss, you can happy now at the beginning instantly. This is the red circle. It also generates a ring afterwards. So you are not safe if you just like dodge backwards. Always stay behind the boss or on the side. Never want to stand in front of it. platform is shrinking. The first tormented that is going to spawn very soon. You can actually stand inside of the hitbox for these ones. It won't hit you. There's a wall. Don't die to the wall. Someone's out to the wall. Keep going. That tormented that is going to spawn now. You can happy now. Mm, didn't move die the first. Yeah, move a little bit, otherwise your boons are gone. I will cleanse you. Oh wait, oh, I don't have Trapper's ex expertise actually, I just realized. I will heal you. Tormented that spawns. Can happy. Another wall. Don't die to the wall. Just Someone died to the wall. <laughs> I do CC. Big CC. Got the rest. You can happy now. We're gonna have to move. Uh, move away from the spot instantly. No, that is not instantly. Not reminded that it spawns. I don't have any alacrity, so pushing will be a little bit scuffed. Should be okay though. This. Alright, reset, we go again. Alright, uh, panic, go on Chrono, and run run like the, the, the dumbest build you have, and also take Precog well. Okay, we go again. How's it follow Thug 22? Now stay behind the boss. Wall is coming in. We gotta move. I forgot to take fucking Traps' expertise again. Oh wait, I, I can't take that trade anyway, now that I think about it. Hmm, I might have to take that trade. Uh, Tormented Zed is spawning very, very soon. Get ready to push. Oh, uh, well, get ready to happy. I'll tell you when to. Don't happy yet. We need to move. Move, 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 move. Now uh, you can happy now. Pay attention to the circle. Don't go into it. You have to move again because of the wall. Follow the tank, follow the tank, follow the tank. You can happy now. Nice wall, don't lie to the wall again. Got the rest. Remember that is spawning again very, very soon. Got ready to up in. Don't get knocked off the platform. Uh, it died on top of the group. You need to move. Move, 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 move. Uh, good CC. Tag on top of tag. Come on top of tag. Come on top of tag. Tag, 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 tag. I can cleanse. That's our dead now again. You can happy. Alright, nice. Uh, let's move. Wait, where's the marker? Let's move towards circle. Kind of. Uh, don't lie to the wall though. Don't go in the wall. The wall is bad. The one shots you. Oh, wait, we're already in circle. That's the wrong fucking marker, X. Uh, Okay, let's go to the other side of the platform. And don't lie to the wall. Healing spring. This is really fucking scuffed. Right, you can happy now. Let's 
And Aqua got interrupted. Don't stand in the wall. Don't get corrupted. Not remember that spawning again. You can happy now. Got the rest fast. Alright, nice. Uh, next time she does all those uh, uh, all those lines, it's gonna be another CC. So I got ready for it. Tormented that spawning now. You can happy. Uh, there's a wall. Move, 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 move. These are not the billion lines. These are the small ones. Next time she does all the big lines, it's gonna be another break bar. These ones. This is CC. Get ready for CC. Tormented that spawning now as well. You can happy. Someone, someone knocked the other way. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna have to move away from here, maybe. Yeah, move away, move away, move away. Wall and uh, died on top of the group. Move away, move away, move away. That's really fucking bad. But we have a fuck ton of ages. Right, you can happy now. Move away from there. There's a wall. That is not CC. So we have to move away. Go on the other side of the platform. Don't stand in the red sight. Otherwise your boons are gone. Uh, Tremendous dead spawn, you can happy. Wall, we have to move a little bit. Don't die to the wall. Another wall, we have to move a little bit. That is a C, I believe. Uh, break the break bar. And the boss is dead. There you go. That was very fucking messy. Um, but no one died, so it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, the big worms throw projectiles at you. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention, which is kind of relevant, um, when the boss goes in break bar, all the walls actually that are currently on the platform will disappear. And the devs were kind enough to give you space to break the break bar, so you don't have any walls in the way or anything. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole fight. Push the worm away with epidemic and knockbacks. Uh, same behind the boss, break the break bar. Uh, don't send it the giant red fields, don't send it small red fields, don't send the giant orange AOEs. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we had kind of weird uh, wall RNG. It wasn't too bad, but because some of the ads exploded in the wrong spots, it looked really confusing and messy. Alright, now this event, uh, we need to carry this Mina on the other side of this river. Um, we can give her swiftness, we can give her region, we can give her blocks. She is a fighter NPC, or so combat combatant, combatant NPC, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, not sure what the word is, but uh, we can give her Aegis boons and buffs because she can actually take damage and die. If this Mina dies, the event has failed and we have to go again. So during this river, there's going to be um, little skeletons that are going to kill you. They're going to kill the NPC. There's going to be um, two kind of big adds. Uh, one of them is going to go up to this Mina, he's going to craygasm and he's going to explode all over her uh, and his life will be fulfilled, I guess. Uh, you can actually give Aegis to this Mina, so that um, the adds still explode and die, but she doesn't take any damage. Or you can CC them, uh, but if you CC them, you interrupt them, and they can do the explosion attack again. So it's actually more convenient to give her Aegis, they explode, and then they're out of the picture, right? Now, another ad, which spawns usually on the sides of the river, um, and also less often, is going to be one that is going to stop the NPC from walking and is going to put a defensive bubble down that we're going to stand into, right? Um, if we don't have the defensive bubble, we are going to die because if you stand on the river, you take damage. Uh, and also, uh, it stops this Mina from walking and it does a lot of damage to her. So we got to kill these adds uh, either with damage or you can actually use one of the mechanics in the fight itself, which is a red circle that appears on top of players. We can actually drop those red circles on the enemies, it will stun the enemies, it will do a lot of damage to the enemies, and it also stuns us, and does a lot of damage to us if we are caught in it, or try to kill our teammates. 
Uh, so be very close, uh, pay very close attention to that. Uh, was there one shot to you, just like in the fight we just did, do happen in the river? Uh, they don't actually one shot you here because this th this is like a weird death thing. If you die in this fight, you don't actually die. Uh, you can actually you actually turn into like um, you turn into like a spirit. You can take the red souls from the river and you come back to life. Um, so in a way, they do one shot you. They don't one shot you. Whatever. You, if you die, you're not actually dead. You can take the red orbs on the river and you're alive again. Uh, also, there's walls, uh, well, rifts on the side of the river that try to pull you off of it. Uh, if you hit them 10 times, because they have 10 stacks, the rifts will uh, disappear for a short amount of time so that they don't pull you around, or you can just ignore them and fight against them. So if they pull you towards the right side, you move towards the left side. Uh, left side, you move towards the right side, right? That, it will be a point where you will have to avoid the one-shot walls, and also, like, while you are getting pulled uh, from the rifts, um, but that should not be a problem. So usually, well, the intended strat, I guess, is to all stack with this Mina, carry her through the river as we all do the mechanics, but we're gonna do something different, which is a little bit easier. Uh, so we're gonna have um, the healing firebrand, which is panic, and... And Ice Quote to stay back and give this Mina Swiftness and Aegis the entire time. And everyone else um, is gonna go ahead with me, with Commander Tag, and you're gonna follow me around, kill all the adds. So we're gonna... The adds that stop this Mina from walking, we are gonna kill them before this Mina gets there, so that she can just run in a straight line, she doesn't have to worry about anything. Um, and she has perma age stability, uh, not stability, sorry, swiftness, and you know, she's she's a speedy girl. Now, you can also give her super speed if you have like a scrapper or a holo, but we don't have that. I'm not gonna change to that because I'm gonna play druid. I need to change my weapons actually. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's actually go with this. Uh, that kind of works, I guess. Uh, I'm forgetting something. Yes, I'm forgetting my axe and word. Okay, uh, everyone go ahead. Come with me. Over here. You can start a fight whenever you want. Oh, it's over here. Nice. All right, kill this guy. Heals, spam ages. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the only healer, but it, I probably am. Maybe I am. Okay, I need big heals. So use your tome twos, use your tome threes. Uh, do big damage on the adds, give ages, and also, um, uh, me here, oh wait, are you on top of the group? Wait, I don't know, M maybe you are on top of the group, I'm not sure, I don't think I can see you. Maybe I'm blind, oh yeah, you are here, okay, okay that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, we're just gonna run around, so this is where normally the walls would be, but the walls only spawn when this Mina is there. Uh, so because this Mina is not here, we can just run through this without any fighting on any walls. These Enervators are the ones that would stop this Mina. We kill the first one, and we're gonna kill the second ones. Uh, the rest of the group behind us is actually um, fighting the other trash mobs, the ones that explode uh, when they encounter this Mina. So they are giving, they're letting them blow up, but they're giving this Mina Aegis, so she doesn't take any of the damage. Um, and she can just keep running free and... and and nicely, right? Big eels, big eels, big eels. This is the last one. Then our group can basically just AFK, uh, let the other people do stuff. Um, but me and... Me and the other heal firebrand can actually go back and help them. So we have more ages, can do more stuff. You guys just go at the end. I might have to go at the end as well, actually, because I don't really have ages or anything. Get over here, and you guys are basically finished. Um, can we actually go back? Let's try to go back. I don't have any CA right now.
There you go, these are the bombers that explode. Oh, I don't have the super speed trait in CI actually. Kinda sucks. Yeah, she's full HP, there's our little skeletons. They actually do not that much damage by themselves, but they might uh, fist flurry you, which is a daredevil skill. And they can actually fuck you up pretty quickly, especially if multiple of them hit you at once. There you go, those are the walls that one shot you. Also, I need one more. Uh, I need one more helper. It's Alimer twenty eight. If you want to help him with win five training, squad join on me. Go 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 go. You want to get big food? There you go. This event is over. You got loot. You got minis. All the things. Okay. Now another encounter is called. This is known as statues. There you go. Gregors is in uh, DPS. Okay, so these these are three uh, statue memes that we gotta do. One is uh, this like broken green thing, the other one is a mouth, and the other things are eyes. So this one has green circles. Green circles usually equal good. Um, that's the case for these ones as well. So once the fight actually starts, we start the fight by going into one of these green circles. Every green circle that spawns after um, the event started. If we miss it, that means if someone is not standing in it, we explode and take a lot of damage. <clears throat> uh, and if you're downstate, you instantly die. So we gotta make sure that we get all of them. Every 2% a green circle spawns, I believe it was. Uh, and a player can only have a maximum amount of 3 stacks on them at the same time. Each green circle gives you 1 stack. Uh, they will eventually run out, uh, so you can eventually take more, but try to spread them and take them as many as you can. Uh, boss also gets random boons. Um, a bit annoying, I guess, but it doesn't matter too much. Also, there's a timer in the top right. If we don't get the boss to uh, 1% by the time that the timer runs out, uh, we instantly die. Uh, when the boss gets to 1%, we also need to take like 4 or 5 extra green circles to remove a buff that he has, and then we can actually kill him and do like last 1% of his health. Now, uh, tank uh, is uh, toughness based, so the tank will face the boss, the, I mean this mini boss, away from us at all times. Uh, otherwise, he will shoot big projectiles in front of him, and he will do a lot of damage, so you never want to do... Uh, you never want to stay in front of the boss at any point in time. Boss also does some uh, lines. He spawns like some kind of, some kind of like scuffed lines, icy lines on the ground. If you stand in them, they generate from inside of his hitbox. You will take a lot of damage, and you might die very very quickly. And he also does some uh, like triangle um, orange attacks that you don't want to stand in it because he does damage that applies bleeding and some other small things that honestly are kind of irrelevant. Most important thing is always stay in the green circles. If you have three stacks, you can't take any more than three stacks. Otherwise, you get frozen and you eventually die unless someone heals you through the frozen effect. So if you have three stacks and you have to take green, because if you don't, the group will explode, um, ping it in chat, say, oh, I am frozen, I'm over here, heal me. I'll try to heal you, the healing fiber is going to heal you. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's better to get frozen than make the entire group blow up. Because if you get frozen, that's recoverable. If everyone fucking dies, it, not so much. So, right, let's go. Statues. Ready up. Don't stand in front of it. The tank is springy, or should be anyway. So, don't stand in his direction. There you go. Those are the lines. Don't stand in the lines. Every green circle that spawns uh, after 98%, you want to stand in that. And make sure that... Um, well, I mean, it doesn't blow up, right? Take a green circle, you get a stack, and then... 
that's fine. Uh, I can probably take... Uh, that's fine, alright. Right, stay. Um, green circle or behind the boss. Don't send any lines or anything like that. There you go. Look at the Scourge Man. Scourge Man is taking all the greens. Nice. I can heal you. I can take this one. Someone is dead. Get the rest. Don't stand in front of the boss, otherwise you take a lot of damage. Don't stand in front of the boss. Okay, calm down on DPS a little bit. Just auto attack or something. Uh, this guy is frozen. I can't really heal you. He also didn't tell me that you were frozen, so that's a bit Papega, to be honest. Someone else is frozen as well. I can heal you. Over there. Uh, someone's... Oops, we missed a green. Alright, that's not amazing. Got the rest on this guy. I got the spirit off. Stack on top of the boss. <coughs> there you go. That's why we stopped the PS. Alright, now we can do some damage again. Stacks should be wearing off. For some people, anyway. I can heal you over there. That guy's gone. Goodbye. Guys, do not stand in front of the boss. You should never do that on any fight in the game, if possible. Okay, we have 30 seconds. Should be doable. Don't miss any of the circles. I'm gonna take this one. There you go. Now boss is at 1%. The timer at the top right stops, because we gotta take some last few circles. To remove his blue buff that he has on his uh, condi bar or whatever. And now he dies. And now he's gone. Right. People that died to standing in the ice lines on the ground, bad. Don't do that. People that died by standing in front of the boss, bad. Don't do that. People that go frozen, next time tell me you're frozen earlier so I can actually heal you. Or just don't get frozen. Now for me to say to stand in front of Sabir, yes, that's because you got a you got a like a special buff that makes you do more damage. But once you have the buff, you shouldn't stay in front of the boss anymore, because you just lose color pretty much. Alright, now we go to the other islands. This is gonna be a mouth. So just like we did with River, uh, we're not going to be doing this the intended way, because the intended way is not good. And slower, and it's also less safe. So why would you ever do it the intended way? So, the idea for this fight is we have to kill a spider. Spider dies, it drops some uh, yellow orbs, five of them. We throw the yellow orbs in these tiles that I'm going to mark on the map, uh, well, on the ground right now. You can see there is five little circles. We throw the five yellow orbs in the circles, depending on which tile is currently activated. Once the tile is fully activated with all five of the circle uh, of the balls that we throw in, we can kill the Eater of Souls into the tile, and that will um, that will make Eater of Souls release some red orbs into the into the air. Now we need to get those red orbs into the air because that will fill the progression bar of the event, so we can actually kill the Eater of Souls. Um, 
how do we do that? So around the arena, there's gonna be spawning some um, some giant green circles. So we need to send people in the green circle. That's gonna send people up into the air, and then they can collect the red orbs and uh, fill the progression bar. So we're supposed to do that twice because doing it twice is slower and it's confusing as fuck and we need to have responsibility on multiple people and we have to gotta move around a lot we're only gonna be doing this once so we're gonna be killing the spider get the yellow orbs throw them into the tile with special action key and then we kill another spider uh, sorry we kill the ad into the tile then we kill another spider we ignore the green circle that's supposed to send people up it will generate a shockwave don't get it by the shockwave uh, no players are in it, it means that it does a shockwave to like punish you for missing the mechanic, but we're missing it on purpose. So we kill another spider, more yellow orbs, we throw the yellow orbs into another tile, kill the Eater of Souls into another tile, and then more red orbs are uh, generated into the air. So we send five people up all at once, and we take all the red orbs all at once. So we all do it in one phase instead of doing it in two phases. And then the progression bar will be filled, assuming that everyone collects the red orbs, and the event will be over once we kill Eater of Souls one last time. Now, things to keep in mind. Uh, the green circles are gonna appear in between uh, these four tiles. Uh, so in the spaces, uh, and let's say I, I marked like a, a plus sign, uh, the X sign that is invisible between the markers is where the green circles are gonna appear. Um, we're gonna be ignoring the first one, we fill up, uh, well, we go into the second one. The reason why we send five people, even though you only need four, uh, kind of, maybe, is because you, uh, well, when people are up, either of Souls is gonna try to pull people down again towards him by eating them. So we're gonna have one person sacrifice themselves, uh, so that the people that are standing down fighting the boss don't have to break the break bar, because it's kind of an annoying break bar, and you only have like five people to break it with, and the five people might not have CC skills, I don't know, random pug groups, blah blah blah, Chrono might not have shield five of cooldown, all these things. So one person just gets sacrificed on purpose, um, it doesn't die, it just goes down state, so we rest him again, and then all is fine. So the people that are standing up, doing the mechanic, you can navigate uh, back, forward, left and right, but you can also navigate um, up and down with number one and three key. Number two key makes you dash forward really, really fast, just like stuff three on druids. Um, that can be useful if you're really far away from an orb that you really want to get. Or, if the event is completed, which means there is no more red orbs up, instead of just AFKing and waiting for the game to kill you up there, you can actually just rush out of the sky. Uh, kind of like, you go like, it's kind of like, like here, right? The game is not gonna kill you, it will put you in down state back on the main platform. So we can rest you uh, instead of you dying. Because if you stay up here for long enough, the game will be like, what the fuck are you doing? You're taking forever, and then it will eventually kill you. There is a buff. Um, that you gotta you gotta do that mechanic of collecting the orbs um, in the time given to you. Otherwise, you're fucking dead. That's pretty much it. So, uh... I'll explain the rest, uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll re-explain again when we go in, but let's go in now. So we go in, do some damage to uh, the target now, get him like 50% HP, don't kill him. And then a spider is gonna spawn. Uh, stop doing damage already, stop, 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 we have a lot of condies. Alright, uh, spider is gonna spawn, uh... Where the fuck? Uh, spiders behind behind the boss. Okay, go, go on tag. Kill the spider. So spider is gonna generate um, five yellow thingies in the uh, inner circle of the arena. So you have to take the spy uh, take the yellow thingy, throw it in the uh, arrow tile, the one that is lit up green. Throw them all there. Then we kill uh, we kill the boss inside of this. Okay, okay, Let's, don't stand in the green circle. Also, there is a shockwave now. Dodge a shockwave or give stability. Log enough of the edge. Okay, good. Now, the ad, uh, well, the boss died in the tile, so there is red orbs in the air. Now, kill the other spider. Other spider, go, go. The fucking green circle really fucked my explanation up because it was next to us. Uh, kill the spider. We got the yellow thingies again. 
Throw them in the heart tile, which is the other uh, lit up one now again, right? Throw them in there. Don't panic. Go close to it. There's no rush to throw them in. Nice. Now we kill the boss on top of it again. Next green circle, the entirety of subgroup 3. Look at the subgroup in the top left. You are gonna go in the green circle. It's next to us again. Go into that, go into that, go into that, go into that. You're gonna navigate up and you're gonna collect um, all the red orbs. Navigate to key number one and three to go up and down if they're on a different level. Uh, we can actually maybe try to CC the break bar because I didn't assign anyone to be sacrificed. Someone's down state, that's okay, we can rest here. Nice. Sub alert actually scared the shit out of me. Thank you very much for Prime Sub. Okay, uh, these red giant AoEs that you see, by the way, they are um, they are from the spider trying to puke on you. Also, someone didn't collect red orbs or got eaten, so we need to go around again. We gotta kill another spider. You can see spirit energy recovered in the top right. That's that's the progression bar that we gotta fill. Uh, we didn't get enough red orbs. Uh, some of them are still in the air, actually, so I think someone just didn't collect them. So we gotta send people up uh, again. Wait how, wait, how does that work? I have no idea. What actually happens? Can I throw it from there? Right, rest me, rest me, rest me. Oh, it's gone. Huh, I wonder if I can actually throw it from from the air. I never tried. That never happened before. Okay. Um, we need to kill another spider. So let's go all the way to heart. This is very scuffed, but it's okay. It's still doable. It's actually... It's my excuse for not GGing and doing it again. So kill the spider. Uh, someone go up. One person go up. As long as you didn't go up earlier. Doesn't matter who it is. Okay, go to circle. I think I missed that throw. Never mind. Go to circle. We gotta kill... Stay up there. It doesn't matter. We can kill the boss. You're gonna get the, 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 the red orbs anyway. I got CC, got CC. Okay, never mind. Doesn't do CC anymore. I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. The boss is really bugged. I right, move the boss in the tile and kill him fast. I need to die now. Otherwise, the people that are standing up in the air will eventually die because they run out of time. Do big damage. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. How much time do they have? Can't even see. Are right, you gonna get red spheres now? Dead. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, that's fine. Uh, we gotta send... Uh, I mean, I can go up again now, because my buff is gone. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go up with someone else. Someone else can come up as well, as long as they didn't go before. Maybe. I think I should be enough by myself, actually. <coughs> uh, need one more. Okay, now the progression bar is filled, so you can actually... Um, you can kill the boss. Oh, he didn't eat me. Papa hands. Alright, I dashed out of the arena, so now I'm dead. See so if you can get me, otherwise just kill it, it doesn't matter. There you go. That was really messy, but I guess you kind of get the point. Uh, kill the spider. Spider spawns red orbs. You gotta go up. Get the red orbs. Um, and yeah. It was a little bit messy, but we got it, we did it like multiple times. There you go. Uh, what bug tournament is going to be tonight? Tonight we're going to be announcing a very, very fun tournament that you guys are going to enjoy very much. Also, um, who was that? Verdian D underscore. Uh, thank you for the follow. But also, Battleless9. Thank you very much for the Prime sub, dude. Wait, where is the... Um... Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, someone said if this is going to be on my YouTube channel. Probably. Maybe at some point. Depends. Uh, depends how Doom goes, I guess. Um, wait. Okay, you guys are ready at ice. So, this is the last statue. Um, statues, I guess. It's two of them. But these are the eyes. So, the little meme for this one is that they have to die within the same um, 10 second time frame. Uh, yeah, you can go Druid or Alley if you want, or if you have like a paralyzation shield, you can also do that. So, we are gonna split into two groups. So, subgroup two uh, goes north, which is gonna be on the arrow marker. Subgroup three goes south, which is gonna be on the circle marker. And uh, I need people that can throw the lights. So, 
as you can see, there is these eyes that we gotta kill, but they are invulnerable. So, to make them vulnerable, we gotta throw these light orbs uh, near them, and that will make them hittable. But just being hittable is not good enough. They're gonna teleport around everywhere, it's gonna be a mess, so we gotta stun them, so that, one, we do more damage, because they are exposed, uh, just like me and Reddit a couple weeks ago, and... We do more damage because of that, we might have some traits, we have impact sigils, and all of those things. So, that's good. And also, it doesn't move anywhere. So ideally, we would um, keep them permanently stunned so they never move anywhere, right? They never move anywhere, so we're basically DPSing the golem, but you cannot use any dazes. Uh, dazes, cancel, and... Uh, in a way you renew any kind of like old knockback, any kind of like old stun. So if the if the add is stunned from the light mechanic, if you daze it, it will interrupt and then it's gonna teleport everywhere and it's gonna be a giant fucking mess. So I'm gonna give some people lieutenant, uh, so you can actually mark uh, the eye. Because the eye, if it teleports around, uh, it might be a little bit of an annoyance to find it, but you can actually mark it when it's... Um, well, you can mark it now, but you can mark it when it's hittable, uh, because you can actually target it. And then once it teleports around, you can actually see on the minimap where he is, because you targeted him earlier, right? So that's very nice and convenient. So, reason why uh, someone went Druid, or Paralyzation Shield, or Ali, or whatever. Um, uh, Ranger has this amazing trait that increases uh, duration of... Uh, stun and uh, dazes. Wait, it's also dazes, right? I believe. Yeah, stun and dazes by 50%. If you have, um, you can take, uh, it, it used to be called Tempest Defense. Uh, what is it called now? I don't remember. There's uh, like an alley trait and um, Storm Soul. What a shit name. Uh, there is, well, you can take the alley trait that increases stun duration as well. You can take a paralyzation shield so that you, while you activate the light stun mechanic with those traits or with those sigils, you increase it in duration, right? Uh, so I'm gonna be taking uh, this trait, so my stun lasts for longer. Uh, the Chrono can take, uh, I don't know, a sigil. Ellie can do things, right? Can do all of those things. Yeah, there you go. He has a, I mean, I can't really see what it is, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be throwing for my subgroup, which is on north. Uh, well, no, I'm gonna be activating the light for my group, some group, which is on north, and the Chrono is gonna be activating the light for a subgroup, which is on south. Now, Gregors is gonna be throwing the orb uh, for his subgroup, which is north. I need someone else that can actually throw the light orb for their subgroup, which is south. <coughs> uh, also, you guys on south can actually come down here. If you're behind the wall, the eye is not gonna hit you, because it can't see you. Which is kind of ironic, I guess, but okay. So, I need one person that wants to do the throw mechanic. Um, throw mechanic. Alright, warrior, come up here. Okay, so... The way you do this light meme to make it easier, because it's there's two of you, you take this one first, uh, he takes that one first, right? The middle one, you can either just completely ignore it the entire time, so the trash mobs that appear on the platform are gonna go to it, and they're gonna leave you alone, or uh, Gregors is gonna take this one first, then the second time the middle one spawns, you are gonna take it. The third time it spawns, he takes it. The fourth time it spawns, you take it. You just alternate, right? Because that's a little bit faster. And also, yeah, there is gonna be little trash mobs on the uh, on the arena here. They're gonna try to steal the lights away from you. They're gonna kick your ass if you don't pay attention. They actually do quite a lot of damage. They can also knock you down, which is really funny. And yeah, just don't die. Try to kite away from them. Uh, I don't know, kill them if you see them, don't, don't, you know, don't laugh at them, because they will actually fuck you up real quick. And that's pretty much it. Now, uh, Light Orb abilities. So you wanna, uh, if you press number 2 skill, I believe you throw. If you press 1, you activate. I actually always confuse them, but the one that is a ground targeted skill, um, gets thrown. So you wanna throw the first one, uh, one throw to activate. Okay, so you wanna throw, 
um, you want to throw the first light uh, behind the wall where people are stacking right now, right? Uh, the second and the third one on top of the eye, so they, they don't have to like walk around and try to find them, right? And also the people that are activating the orb, you want to look at the stun buff on the eye itself. When it's about to run out, you can also move your mouse over it and see how long it's lasting for. Uh, when it's about to run out, you want to activate it again. Um, so that the eye is hopefully permanently stunned, it doesn't move anywhere, and it's clean, and it's nice and smooth. Also, wait for three orbs uh, to actually start... Um, like, wait for three orbs to be on the ground before you actually start activating it and you start doing damage to the eye. Uh, just so we have some, um, like, backup orbs and we make sure that the eye doesn't teleport away. So I'm going to be activating uh, my lights for uh, the arrow subgroup and the crone is going to be activating for the south subgroup, which is circle. Everyone else, just do damage and you'll be fine. Don't use any dazes. So firebrands are use axe too, unless you're con, uh, unless you're quickness, because you have the other traits. Um, yeah, any kind of daze, don't use any of that stuff, because it interrupts the stun. And then we're not having fun anymore. Yeah, you can also just take the trade off. That's that's better actually. Remove the axe trait, daze, trait thing. Nice, my spirit's a fucking dead. It was bad. Johnny is dead. He left us. I don't, I don't mind playing Druid in training raids. Or, I don't know, some bosses. I guess it's fine. Alright, get the orbs. Draw the orbs. Wait for three lights, and then we can actually engage the fight. So now the light is here, the boss is hittable, but don't hit it yet. Um, wait until there is three orbs on the ground, until we can actually go. Third one is going to be soon. Oh yeah, we can go now. I stun, do big damage, go, go. Don't use any dazes, reminder. Yeah, not a stun. Another stun. That was too early, that's okay. There you go. Norta is dead. Now. They need to die within the same 10 second time frame. Uh, kill these adds, light thieves. Kill them because they, they do a lot of damage and they are annoying as fuck. If they don't die within the same 10 second time frame, uh, the one that died first actually gets health back. Uh, and we gotta kill it again, and then they are desynced, and then it's a giant pain in the ass. Uh, also, uh, if one of the eyes is not exposed to light for long enough, everyone in the arena starts taking a lot of damage. And I don't exactly remember why this happens, but there's also like a giant minotaur spawning uh, at some point. I honestly haven't seen that since release of the raid. Uh, so I don't really remember how it happens, but there might be like a giant minotaur that appears out of nowhere sometimes, which is... I mean, it doesn't really do much. You can actually just stun it and melt him instantly because he doesn't have much health. But that can happen. If there's a giant minotaur at some point, I warned you about it. Uh, no, I don't have someone. Uh, no. Are you Kite Man? Poggies. Nice. Okay. Mechanics. I place markers everywhere. Ignore it. I'll explain later. So. Markers. For reasons. Alright. So. Very quickly. The idea of this fight is that we as the uh, protectors are supposed to protect these reapers that are standing at the entrance because they are channeling some kind of ritual to chain and trap away uh, the guy chilling on his giant throne over there. Uh, so we need to make sure that they never die 
uh, as the fight progresses, they are gonna appear on the markers that I put down on these seals. So first one is gonna be an arrow, and then it's gonna go all the way clockwise around, all the way to triangle. We need to make sure that there's gonna be little spiders, we need to make sure that little spiders do not kill these reapers, uh, otherwise we instantly fail the event and the raid is over. Uh, and your accounts also get deleted, and all your Mystic Coins go to me and the Artstock Guild Bank. So, kill all the little spider thingies. Um, also, there's gonna be skeletons. So, we're gonna have one skeleton in the beginning over here where we are. It can either spawn where I'm jumping right now, or it can spawn where I'm jumping right now. Two different spots every single time. It's RNG. It doesn't... It, it's... It's... Randomly generated. Same thing over here. It's gonna be also another... Sp uh, yeah, you can tank. There's also going to be another skeleton over here or over here. It changes spot, uh, depending, and it changes spot with a uh, flesh golem or like tormented dead uh, that we saw during um, during this mina earlier. So these ones, instead of exploding and corrupting your boons like they did on this mina, soulless horror boss. These ones have an orange circle around them. Uh, if you walk over them or they walk over you, you take a lot of damage and you might die. So you gotta make sure that you don't do that, while our Kiter uh, takes aggro of them instead. You take aggro of them by attacking them first. So you wanna make sure you don't place any AoEs, or attack them on purpose, otherwise you're griefing and I'm gonna kick you out. So let our Kite men um, take aggro of those, don't aggro them by accident, kill the skeletons, uh, kill the skeleton over here, kill the skeleton over there, and then, um, for the first section of the fight, which is time-gated, unfortunately, uh, we're gonna have to kill a skeleton over here. We're gonna have to kill another skeleton over uh, at circle, another skeleton over square, another skeleton over at uh, squiggle, or whatever squirrel, or whatever the thing is. <clears throat> After that, we, uh, I mean, during this already, we the players uh, can make the fight a lot easier for ourselves by making it so that these skeletons that we just killed don't spawn anymore for the rest of the fight by collecting a special red orb um, that we access by taking green circles, just like we saw on the on the mouth boss earlier. We go up with the green circle, we collect the red uh, the red orbs, right? You can actually see the red orbs already up right now. If you move your camera upwards, we need to collect those. Uh, most of them are going to be very tiny. There is two special ones that are a little bit bigger. One is just bigger. The other one is a little bit bigger. And it also looks like it has like three or four smaller orbs inside of it. Uh, but the one that matters the most to us is the very, very big one. So we go up and the important red uh, sphere that we got to collect is always going to spawn on the left side. Uh, I, I don't really know how many like degrees it is, uh, but it's always gonna be up. I mean, you gotta go up anyway, but it's gonna always gonna spawn on the left side. So if I'm taking arrow, uh, circle, the actual uh, red orb is gonna be spawning on, let's say, on the X marker, but in the sky, right? Like above, because you get teleported, like you get thrown up when you take the green mechanic. If I am doing the circle one, it's gonna appear on, let's say, uh, I don't know, over there a little bit, right? You always want to take the bigger orb that is over there. You can take a uh, maximum amount of five. You can actually take six sometimes if they spawn like inside of each other or whatever. But once you take five, the game will teleport you down again. So you got to make sure that you take that big one within the five that bring you back down here, right? Otherwise, the big skeleton is going to spawn. And we might have to tank the boss in a different position, we might have to send some DPS players over, and it would be a little bit chaotic. So people have the greens, uh, you want to collect five of them, and you got to make sure that one of those five is also the big one. Now, the other big one that I was talking about, that looks a little bit weird, it looks like it has like baby orbs inside of it, that one makes it so that the tormented dead, the ones that like run around and aggro on the first person that hits them, uh, it makes it so that those ones don't spawn. Um, so collecting those is also good, but you should always prioritize uh, getting the other big one. That's the most relevant one. And you also should prioritize just living. Because you don't have much time to collect these orbs. If you don't collect them in time, you will instantly die. Also, 
again if you move your camera upwards you can see a like blue light beam in the center with like a kind of like a stormy aura around it uh, if you turn into a script and you see oh shiny I love shiny and you go towards the light you will instantly fucking die so don't do that don't be a script be a raider and don't feed if you go into the light beam dead no down state nothing the game deletes you so that's a green mechanic um, our kiter is gonna be doing green too. Uh, who is tanking actually? Who is the tank man? Quote, uh, okay, quite is tanking. Can you do green three as well while tanking? Pog, nice. Okay. Uh, I can do green one, I guess. That should be okay. Um, or we can send the warrior. Warrior, do you wanna do green one? Do you wanna do the green death mechanic? Can try, okay, nice. Um, Okay, I'll explain the rest of the fight now. So, Golem's running around. Our character is gonna take care of those. Don't walk over them or you will die. Uh, green circle mechanic, uh, they appear clockwise. First one is gonna be on arrow, then they appear every 30 seconds. So second one will be a circle, third one will be on heart. And we can't send the same person on each green. So we need three different people because of a debuff. So we're gonna send our warrior to the first one, our uh, kiter to the second one, and uh, the tank chrono to this one because we're, we're doing like a weird strat where the tank uh, also does greens so uh, we need three different people um, if you do if you try to do a green but you still have the debuff on you you instantly die uh, you can send a backup if someone is going to miss it as long as they obviously know what to do when they are up there uh, if a green circle is missed which means no one is standing in it uh, the event fails and you instantly all die. <clears throat> so sometimes sending a person that already did the green in another green, you know, they will die, but the group lives. So sometimes that can be good. Sometimes that can save the day. Now, uh, rats, well, reapers, I, I always call them rats for some reason. The reapers are going to be spawning on the seals, right? We need to protect them from the little spider thingies. If the spider thingies kill the reapers or... Uh, the flesh golems that aggro on our kiter are not aggroed fast enough. Uh, they will eventually... I don't I don't even know why. They just always walk to this one for some reason. Uh, but they're going to walk to the entrance reaper and they're going to stand on the entrance reaper. Just standing there AFK and damaging it uh, with their AoE. Uh, you can actually heal the reapers. In normal mode, they have increased healing to them. Uh, in challenge mode, they have normal healing to them. Which means that healing them does basically almost nothing. Um, so it's okay if there's like a bunch of spiders on the entrance and they don't get cleared. Um, but we're going to talk about how to clear them in a moment. So besides doing damage, because you don't want to lose damage. A bunch of monkeys want to DPS greed. So, boss attacks, mechanics. So after the pre-event, which is, um, well, you can't really speed it up, it's time-gated. The boss is gonna get up, uh, get his ass out of the chair, he's gonna wake up, and he's gonna aggro on toughness. So we're gonna go over here, this is usually the pug strats. Tango is gonna be standing over here, and we're also ga gonna have the last skeleton appearing over here. And the last skeleton is gonna try to kill uh, this uh, reaper. So it will be cleaved, because we're gonna be standing here killing the boss, right? So, the boss is gonna stay here, he's gonna do a bunch of auto attacks, oh look at me, I'm auto attacking the tank, I'm doing no damage because I'm useless, blah 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 blah, right? Uh, after a while, it will turn around, it will smack the ground with a giant orange AoE, which by the way, if you stand inside of it, it doesn't actually do anything, it's just a visual cue. Uh, it will generate cracks out of that orange circle, and after those cracks expand uh, kind of all over the arena, I mean, it depends where they were generated from, uh, the size of them. If you stand in those cracks when they explode, they will turn kind of like green color. Um, they will do damage and fear you for a very long time. Uh, if you go down state from those cracks because you were standing in them, that's actually better than getting feared because the fear will fear you all the way to the other side of the arena. But try to pay attention to them. I will try to call them out. Don't stand in the cracks. Uh, don't die. Say behind the boss. Also, boss will actually... Can you block the cracks? Yes, you can actually block, evade them, distort them, you can do everything. Um, also, well, I think I already said ages, but yeah. Uh, say behind the boss all the times. The boss will um, dive uh, underground. And after diving underground, 
it will then select a random player from the squad to, you know, let's say I am the raid boss. I will go down. I, I reappear. I might randomly reappear on this guy. And I do my giant big attack on this guy. So, giant big attack on this guy is a huge red circle. If it hits any players, it will steal the boons of those players. And it will knock their bodies away from their soul. So, if I get hit by that giant circle, I'm gonna be knocked away in this direction, because that's the direction I'm looking at. So the first thing I have to do is instantly go to my soul, take it, and then move out of the giant red circle. The giant red circle does not kill you if you walk into it instantly. It will kill you once it's completed. So if you get hit by that attack, the devs were nice enough to give you time to actually walk back in the red circle, take your soul, and then leave. Um, so you can actually walk in the red circle, take your soul, and then leave really, really fast. But once the red circle is completed, you can tell when it's completed because it has like a green aura around it. Once a green aura around the circle is completed, you cannot go in it anymore, otherwise you will instantly go down state. And the resting you is kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, don't get hit by that attack, otherwise your boons will go to the boss, you will be knocked away, your soul is going to be in a shit spot, and you're going to be fast to actually get it back. Uh, after that, we're probably going to move over here, over to the squiggle marker. Our tank is going to go up, um, so the boss will actually be AFK, because the boss will be like, dude, what the fuck, the tank is gone, what am I supposed to do? So the boss is going to AFK for a bit, because the tank is up doing the mechanic with the red orbs. Uh... While all of this is happening, by the way, the kiter is still kiting, the green, um, the green circle people are still doing the green circles, we are obviously still damaging the boss and everything, and right when this green circle appears, and the person that's supposed to do this one goes up, the boss will actually teleport in the center of the arena, and he will force us all to lose our souls. So just like when you get hit from his giant circle attack, it will knock our bodies away from our soul, depending on the direction that you're looking at. So if I am looking at the middle, I'll be knocked over here, right? If I am looking at the wall, I'll be knocked towards him. And that's bad, because Doom is trying to, is trying to suck us into his red AoE in the middle. The red AoE doesn't instantly kill us, honestly, it probably should. But it will do a lot of damage. So you always want to get knocked in a convenient spot. You always want to get knocked on top of the group. And you also want to uh, you always want to make sure that you get your soul as fast as possible, right? <clears throat> so get your soul back, and then you're fine. Then try to fight against the pull. So the boss is gonna pull you towards the middle. You wanna like fight it by moving in the opposite direction, right? After that, the boss will go back to normal, so we can stand behind it again. And then the fight just repeats itself uh, until we get to 60% and 30%. So, little recap so far. Kill the skeletons, uh, green mechanic, you go up, you collect five orbs. One of them has to be uh, the one with the bigger size. So you don't spawn the extra skeletons. Boss spawns, stay behind the boss. He turns around, he smacks the ground, he generates cracks. Don't die to the cracks. People are doing greens, the kiter is kiting. Then the boss will eventually go down, uh, it will do like a dive attack, it will reappear on a random player. No one has to get hit by this attack, otherwise your boons will be stealed, um, stolen, English. And the boss will have your boons instead, then you gotta get your soul, and it's gonna be messy, it's gonna be annoying, and it's gonna be... We might actually die because of that, because the boss's quickness, alacrity, uh, it has fury, so I might just randomly crit everyone. <laughs> if that happens, you wanna dodge his auto attacks. Um, then, then I'm gonna move over here, tank is gonna go up, boss might AFK. He might also randomly turn around and auto-attack us, because the EZI is a little bit uh, scuffed sometimes when the tank is doing greens. Then he will go into the middle, uh, he, will, he will remove our souls, we walk back to our souls, we take them back, we fight against the pull that he's doing. Also, when our soul is removed in this phase, we get Torment. Uh, so if you're a Firebrand, use... Um, I don't know, use Tom to uh, fifth skill for Condi Clans. If you're a druid, take Healing Spring. If you're a Soul Beast, you can take the um, the, the the thingy that 
the, the healing skill that removes uh, condies or whatever it does, I don't actually remember. Bear Stance. Yeah, Bear Stance, that's the name. Um, I don't know, Chrono, Traits, you can like Shatter and Boons are gone, Scourge, you can Condi Cleanse with Thingies. Make sure that the Torment is gone. Uh, the Sages apply applying Torment, I don't think it does. Um, because your Aegis is gone, because your Boons are gone. You can ill, um, in will not put up work. So yeah, get your soul back. Uh, also, uh, no, actually I will explain that later. So, uh, 60%, what happens in 60%? The two closest people to the boss get a shackle mechanic. So if you are the two closest people to the boss, uh, besides the tank, because the tank is immune to mechanics, because he's tanking, you're gonna have to break the shackle by moving away from each other. So let's say me and my pet, which is called Shungite Sniffer, uh, both have the shackle. I'm gonna have to move in this direction, he's gonna have to move in this direction, and then the shackle will eventually be uh, broken. Um, otherwise, the longer you keep the shackle on yourselves, the more damage you will do, to a point where you're just gonna instantly die, and we can't even rest you anymore. 30%, <clears throat> another new attack, do we have a Scourge? Uh, Reaper? No, we don't have a Reaper in the group. So. 30% the boss is gonna do a pull attack. Um, he will turn around or turn to the sides or something and he will do a giant pull attack that looks like basically a slowed mode version, uh, slow mode version of um, Gritsword 5 on Reaper. It does show a cone, an orange cone to, you know, oh yeah, this is the attack, but it's actually very uh, unreliable, because the pull attack is actually way bigger than that, and it's also wider than that. So the best way to avoid it is to look at, yes, you can look at the at the cone attack to know when it's happening, uh, but you want to look at the actual, like, thing that is pulling you. There's like three little um, nails, I guess you could call them, like, um, claws. You can actually go in between the claws, to avoid them, you can go to the sides, you can go behind the boss when he's doing it. If you get pulled by that attack, he steals your boons again, because why not? And also, if he pulls someone, he will do the attack again. If someone gets pulled again, he will do the attack again. Uh, sometimes he also cancels the attack, because he's feeling, I don't know, he's feeling funny and he wants a weapon still and cancels his animations. And that's the other different attack. Now, I'll quickly explain the last 10%, and then I will explain the bombs. So. Last 10%, uh, the boss will be chained in the middle, because the ritual is complete. We're all gonna go up. Um, we have to all collect these red orbs that the people doing the green mechanic were doing so far. But we only have to collect small ones. Uh, there's no, like, different sizes or anything that matter. And we also have way more time than we do in the actual fight itself. Most important thing, collect the red orbs, uh, don't try to, like, try to, like, not steal them from each other, you have a very, very long time, just look around, and do not ever chase the red orbs in the giant light beam in the middle, because that will instantly kill you. So if there is a red orb that's going to the middle, do not chase it, it's too late, find another one. I don't want to see any ook ook uh, monkeys dying to the one-shot attack, which is the only attack that actually, like, one hits you. Um, unless you got knocked in the throne and you instantly die, but, I mean, whatever, I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, don't go to the middle and don't die. Also, yeah, don't get knocked in the throne when the soul split is happening, uh, because that will actually kill you. Uh, or don't jump into it. Now, bomb mechanic. There's gonna be sets of bombs happening in the fight. So, let's say I get a bomb. Oh, special action key. What is this? Me press. Boom. The entire sub, well, the entire squad is fucking dead. Uh, I am not, because I am the one that pressed it. I am safe from it. So what you want to do with the bomb is you want to move away from the group. The further away you are, the less damage it does. Also, if you have a bomb while you are up in a green circle, it still counts as being far away. Uh, because the distance is also counted upwards, not only uh, on, you know, horizontally or whatever the axis is. So. Um, that's the bomb mechanic. Thing is, you do not usually, um, you want to do this as less as possible. Don't ever press it yourself, always let it run out. Because the next bomb only spawns if the previous one explodes. So, this means that if everyone was to always use bombs off cooldown, 
uh, we would get bombs faster and it would be a fucking mess for everyone. Uh, and we also, you know, the explosion from the bomb happens, so we also would tank way more damage, way faster, which means we need way more healing and it would be very, very annoying and messy and big damage. So what you want to do is you get a bomb. Uh, if you have a done Slotus or in Wing 2, you get a bomb. You want to go with the bomb where we are coming from and away from the group. So, because at the beginning we're going to be moving clockwise, we're going to be moving from circle to square, right, in, in this line. If you get a bomb during, in this case, you want to, since everyone is moving in that direction, you want to stay over here, right? Go in the corner, the further away you are, the better. Now, if you get a bomb when we are on square, um, depending on the health of the skeleton, so if this skeleton is dead, you can stay. Right, the group is gonna move away to the next one. Uh, if the skeleton is not dead, you can actually just go back here again. Or, even better, you can actually even go over here where there's gonna be like no one. Right, most important thing with the bombs, you wanna make sure that when they time out by themselves, you are not blowing up the group, the people that are doing the green mechanic, because if you are downstate on the green circle, it doesn't count you and the, you know, the encounter fails. And you also don't explode the, ta uh, the kiter. You don't want to blow up the kiter, because if the kiter dies, he will probably die. Uh, because he's getting chased around by a bunch of, like, flash golems that do a lot of damage. So they're just gonna kill him in downstate. That's the bomb mechanic. What did I forget? Um... I don't know. I don't think I forgot anything. Maybe I did. I remember during the fight. All right, let's go. All right, warrior, you are doing green one, which means you are going to be doing the first one on arrow. You're going to be doing the second one on uh, square. You're going to be doing, uh, well, the last one of the face on triangle. So you're going to do this one. Then you're going to do that one on square. Then you're going to do the one on triangle. Um, the kiter knows what to do. The tank knows which ones to do. So. Uh, the tanking spots are gonna be this one where I am right now. Then we're gonna be tanking the boss over here, uh, right in front of the green, so that the tank can also do the green while the boss is staying there. Then the boss will go middle. After he goes middle, the boss will be tanked over here. Uh, then after he does the dive attack, uh, we're gonna be moving over here, so that the tank, again, can do his green circle while also tanking the boss. Then the boss will go middle. We're gonna be tanking the boss uh, over here. Then he will do a dive attack, and we're gonna move over here again. The tank is gonna do the exact same thing. Right, so we're gonna be moving uh, from, you know, original spot, which is over here. We're gonna move to the left side, and now we're basically gonna go uh, clockwise around the arena for the rest of it. Shackles move away from each other. Don't run in the same directions. Pay attention to the shackle. You can tell if you have a shackle because your character is blue. And uh, there is literally a chain tying you to another player. Also, you get a message in the chat, which is red. And also, for one of you two, uh, not for both, because it doesn't work properly, your screen, uh, well, the edge of your screen will actually turn uh, a different color. Telling you, hey, look, you have a mechanic. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, bomb, let them expire, retakes first screen too, I can do that. Uh, also, I am druid. Uh mm. groups is a backup for the first screen too. It's because the kiter is uh, the kiter has a lot of flash golems in the first phase. Uh way fewer than the actual fight. So, it would be very annoying for him to having to get all the thingies and also do the green and blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, we can start. We can start. Alright, as I mentioned earlier, skeletons are gonna be spawning over here. This is the first skeleton. Kill it. Don't stand in front of it, he will bop you on the head and do a lot of damage. Also blind it, you can walk behind him. There you go. Second skeleton over on uh, the square thingy. 
Kill it fast, 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 fast. Uh, it's gonna die from Condis. Move over to uh, Arrow. Kill all the skeletons. Uh, well, sorry, the spiders on Arrow. Go, go, go. Uh, warrior, it's your green. Go up. Look on the left side. Uh, well, behind you. Direction you were facing. It's gonna be a little bit of a bigger orb. And then take uh, also the small ones. So you run through the big one. That means we get another... Sp uh, we, well, we get an extra skeleton. We're gonna have to kill later on. You made it. Nice. Okay, now we get extra skeletons, which means we, uh, you, uh, okay, we're gonna send DPS players over there, so that's fine. We're gonna send DPS people over. Okay, kill the other skeleton. I'm gonna be doing this one. Okay, also, if you have a bomb during the fight, and you have to move away from the group, um, also clear the uh, star marker. The star marker is the one that aggroes all of the spiders. So, if you have a bomb, move out to uh, do the bomb, but also clear the spiders. Drop a bunch of fields on it, do a bunch of things on it. So that it actually dies. Someone's someone's AFK dying. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, warrior. It's uh, square. You have to do square. Go to your uh, go to your thingy. Right, we we were blown up. I right, got the rasses. Okay. Uh. We, there is an extra skeleton, so a couple of DPS players go on the heart. You have to go on the heart marker and go kill the skeleton. Everyone else, just stay on the boss. I'm gonna come as well, because I need to heal the thingy. Kills another bomb, by the way. Also, yeah, if you have bomb, move away from the group. Don't kill everyone. Oh, uh, we have another skeleton. Oh, what the fuck, okay. Boss is diving, don't get hit by that. Move out, move out, move out. Alright, good job. Uh, green circle, stay behind the boss. Uh, auto attack almost fucking hit me. Uh, pay attention if he randomly turns around and auto attacks you. Don't dodge in the field. You never want to dodge in the field behind us, otherwise we instantly die. Uh, warrior, you're gonna be the next green on the triangle marker. I have a bomb. Uh, for fuck's sake, this is so messy, Jesus Christ. I don't have time to do anything. I need to explode this. I don't even have healing spring of cooldown. Now I do. Okay, get your soul, get your soul, get your soul. Walk towards the light. The light is your soul. A couple of people are dead. I can, I can spirit you. Got the Rasses, I search and rescue on this guy. Okay. GG. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a green one. Warrior, just stay on the group and do damage. Was the light coming too late? I mean, I also explained it earlier. I'm just, just reminding it now. Pay attention to explanation now. I'm getting pinged. Alright, we go again. Want me to do green too. Alright, I'm gonna do green one now. I should probably play a different class, actually, because you already have double healer. Go, 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 go. Right, kill Skeleton again. There you go, next. Now I'm getting wiser. And the scars from 
You know, I mean, last clan's aim for 630 dip them. It, it doesn't matter that much, it's irrelevant. We have we have a healing firebrand, we already have a druid. It doesn't really matter that much. We also have mass firebrands, so Condi Clans is not going to be a problem. Right, kill the skeleton. Uh, also, I cannot do this backup, so someone else has to. Um, I think Gragors can. Yeah, Gragors can do it. Bomb, move away from the group. Also, if you have a bomb uh, and you are next to someone that just came back from the green, they will not explode. They have about uh, they have like a three second invulnerability buff. Right, someone has bomb inside of the group. Move away, move away, move away. That'll expire. Right, Mr. Crone is gonna do that. Last skeleton until we get into position. Next green is mine. Alright, if you have a bomb, stay in that corner. Right, very good. Uh, the boss will do the dive fairly soon. Get ready to not stand in, this, uh, in the giant circle. Otherwise your boons are gone and your soul is stolen. There you go. It's going to dive now. Don't stand inside of this. Good job. Okay, we're now going to move towards the squiggle. Stand behind the boss. Don't stand in front of the boss. Uh, if you get a bomb, move uh, away from the group and also clear the ads. Uh, you died from the boss out attacking you. Uh, green circle is up. This is me. Drop healing spring. Condi cleanse yourselves. You are firebrands, you can use Tom 2, Tom 2, 5th skill. Guys, during the soul split, when your soul is gone, on firebrand, go on firebrand, Tom 2 skill, press 5, the Condis will be gone. And also, walk towards the giant bright light, which is your soul. If you don't get your soul, you instantly die. Skeleton spawns over here now. Nice. Ooh. Very much our primary sub beautify. My voice is fucking dead. That means I have to enable rat jam now. Fuck. I kill the spooky skeleton. He got an extra orb. He's a club. Um, if you guys accidentally aggro the Doom's messengers, 
you might drag them on top of the group. So pay attention if they are moving towards you, or if you hit them by accident, it will tell you on the screen that you are affected or you're, you're, I don't know, attracted or whatever the word is. <clears throat> what? Fixated. Fixated, there you go. I like attracted more though. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. You guys can move to Squiggle. I'm gonna explode this bomb in this corner. Bomb stay in the corner over there. Just to damage. Damage. There you go. Don't send the dive. Again, if it turns around, dodge around the mount attack, on AFK, I'll give Aegis, use your heal or something. Once I'm in the cracks. Oh, nice, good job on clearing the entrance. Come cleanse yourselves. Yeah, save behind the boss. Jackal, sixty percent, break them, don't AFK. Send in the cracks. There you go. Move to the next tanking spot. Same behind the boss. Pay attention to shackles still. I'm gonna try to bait this one if I can. There you go. I move away. Okay, boss should come back. Got the rest. There you go, boss is coming back. Now he's going mid. Condi clans has got thread in. Uh, you died, you should have your soul if you died like that. Got the rest fast, I go up. Got your soul, got your soul, got your soul, or not. You see the big light, you walk towards the big light. Otherwise, you're dead. Couldn't get it. You move out of it, then you move back on top of it again. That means that you died right on top of it, so it will be desynced. Shackles move away from each other. Don't AFK. Stop AFKing. Do not AFK with the shackle mechanic. It's big, it's blue, it ties you to another player. All right, don't get pulled in. Oh, 
bomb from over the group. Good job on a dodge. Shackle, break the shackle fast. Stop AFKing with the shackle mechanic. You can explode that bomb a little bit earlier and also come back to us. Explode the bomb, come back to us. Explode the bomb, come back to us. Never mind. Alright. Got your soul. I think you have your soul actually, so that should be fine. Uh, I have shackle. Alright, so I'm gonna go to Sackabot, I gotta do green, I cannot do that. Alright, good job. Not send the cracks. Pay attention to Shackle, do not AFK with the Shackle mechanic. Don't get it by the dive attack. Good job on the dodges. There you go. Now, we all go up. Do not go in the giant light beam in the middle or you are instantly dead. Got the red orbs. You have a lot of time. No need to panic. For like 15 seconds longer. All right. Now, let's all meet up downstairs, even though there is no stairs. Now, go in front of a marker. AFK there. Wait until everyone is in spot and ready, and then we move out. Go in front of a marker, wait there, and then we all move out towards the marker. Three, two, one, go. You gotta press F, and walk back to the group. I should be okay, I'm gonna use my heal. Uh, right, good job on the spirits. All right, we're gonna have to do that again. So go to the same mark as you just went to, press F, fully channel it, then come back to us. We have perma protection now, so you're not gonna die. Go back out. Go, go. Go back in. Okay. Uh, we failed. Okay, we're gonna move out again. Three, two, one, go. Interact with it again, fully channel the thingy. I move back in. Uh, I can rest you. No, I can battle the rest you. Alright, do damage to the boss, and then he's dead. There you go. Zero seconds one second. left. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, well, that is doom. That was, uh, yeah, that was less than zero seconds, actually. I guess. Okay.